Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Coming to you from the P and Lento capital of the world, we are in Moscow, Idaho, for this college football matchup. Next, has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. And there's the opening kick of the season. He'll return it from the one. They'll bring him down at the 27. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made at the 41-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice gain for the offense. From their own 41-yard line. First down. And he's taken down at the 46. to get the first here on second down. Tackle right around the 30. Ohio's really excited to watch this guy grow with this defense. That was his first tackle, but I guarantee you he's got hundreds more coming. has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. It puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. one over to the right and it's intercepted by the senior cornerback broke away from one the defense really cranked up the heat there give those guys all the credit for forcing a desperation pass From their own 27-yard line. First down. Hey, 
Quick pass. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. Give it off here. He steps out right around the 46-yard line. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. They get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Kirk, you and I have talked to the coaches. We've talked to his teammates. Everybody says this kid's a real deal. We're about ready to find out. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Maybe a yard on that draw play. Hogan is hoping to boom this one down the field. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Setting up play action. Wants to go long and does. And swat it away. Super effort to get the ball and knock it away. Real good job down the field. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Red two. Under pressure. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And down he goes. Around the 25-yard line. Shoved out of bounds at the 34-yard line. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. their own 48 yard line first down he wants it all going long and he hits him hard at the 11. to his tailback. He's taken down at the nine. That's good for a gain of two yards. So at the end of one, this one's scoreless. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Loads it. 
Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 80-yard drive, and the result, seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Idaho, kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Ohio's got a new man that's running the ship right now, and I get the sense that the players would run through a wall for him. There's a lot of emotion out there. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's to the 40, and they make the stop at the 50. First and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the fifty. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Finally, love to see the offensive coordinator finds a way to get the ball to the tight end. The quarterback has got to do a better job of communicating with the tight end to make sure they're both on the same page. Otherwise, they're going to continue to throw these incompletions. A tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a team six on the play. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Idaho, up seven points. Throws completely stopped immediately. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. the 31. Nice run there. Taylor gets about four yards on the draw play. From their own 35 yard line. It's second down. On the delay, and he's brought down immediately. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Sacked. Frazier's every bit as good as his clipping suggests. That's his first sack of his career. The coaches say he's got it all. Swim moves, spins, bull rush, whatever it takes to get to the quarterback.
Ryan is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at midfield. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. Quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Third down now. They need to get it to the 25. He might not be able to get the pass off. Aaron and out long. Can't pull it in. That brings us fourth and 11. Roberts is back deep to return the punt. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Idaho is up a score. Quick strike, and he drops it. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Second down. They've got their backs against the wall. Nice run there as they work the outside. Taylor gets seven yards on the play. That'll bring up third and two. off and he won't make it that's not going to move the sticks yeah, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of easy, not letting him get easy. into any kind of rhythm and they're coming after this punter taylor takes it at the 43 knocked out of bounds around the 36 yard line Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. That's a great tackle at the 33-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. From the 33-yard line, second down. And he's taken down at the 24. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. And he's level at the 30. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on a quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He fires this one. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. 7-0, Vandal.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but... Could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play you know, the game out of their comfort zone. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Taylor takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 32. Idaho's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He takes it right side for a good game. That's a game of seven play. That'll bring up second and They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tackle at the 50 yard line. Gain of 11 yards. First down. Makes it out to midfield. That makes it second and ten. From midfield, second down. Pressure coming. the intended receiver on that pass. That's going to bring up fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Hogan to punt. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Idaho is up seven. He's under some heat. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. It's incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. They come out in a five wide set. He's hit and taken down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Go! 
throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. And the offense will recover. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. And this drive stays alive for the offense. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Complete, he's hit right away. Ryan is the punter. And he's taken down at the thirty eight. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. That makes it second and ten. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Fires out to his receiver. And he's tackled at about the 41. From the 41 yard line, first down. After a decent pickup. That's good for a That'll make it second to seven. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Come on. And down he goes, right around the 30. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. First and ten, ball on the 30-yard line. Thompson on play action. Bring him down at about the nine yard line. Here they go, first and goal, down by a touchdown. It's knocked away, incomplete. This is the eighth play of the drive. He's taken down at the eight-yard line. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Three down and one to go. The Vandals with a touchdown lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Will 
they've got the lead and they come up with a big stop and it looks like they're going to get the football back. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Kicks up and it sails through the uprights. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Seminoles were ranked 22nd. A win's a win's a win. Remains to be seen if this one impresses the pollster. And for FSU, they've won two straight. And for Weaver, he had a pair of touchdown strikes. The Seminoles prevail by seven. 7-3 seven in this one. They line up to kick this one away. Roberts from the six. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Up to this point, I wouldn't want to be an offensive coordinator in this game, but you know what? There's still time left. There's still time left, and it's still a competitive game. As bad as these offenses have looked, if you can string together a player or two, maybe try to get in the field goal range, who knows? Maybe a touchdown on the board could be the difference in the game. Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game, and every possession is going to count from here on out. Idaho holds a four-point lead. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. Roberts, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. And he's sacked. And for Hunter, he's got two quarterback sacks now. This defensive end has really been a lightning rod from the edge of this defense. It seems like every time this quarterback drops back to pass, this defensive end is providing some kind of pressure. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. So they gain a few yards, but they're nowhere near picking up the first down. Well, it was third down and long. They had a long way to go. I think that was more of a safe call. The last thing this offense wants to do is take a shot downfield and cause some kind of turnover. Taylor is back deep to return. Taylor takes it at the 43, and he's tackled at midfield. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. the run fake and getting the tight end involved in the passing game there's a lot to prepare for when you play against them and sometimes it's very difficult to stop we've got a first and ten ball on the 39 big opening makes it out to about the 29 that's a game of 10 on the board that'll make it second and inches Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 19 yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. With a quick throw. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. Touchdown! And now they're winning 
this ball game. You got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. A six-play, 49-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. Beck looks ready to kick this one off. Roberts fields it at the three. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Well, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over two minutes in the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Quick pass. And he's taken down around the 33-yard line. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Red two, green three. And he's immediately tackled. Unbelievable pass. They don't care what down it is. Idaho is going to use their first time out of the half here. That makes it second. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. It's recovered. That was very close to being a total disaster for this offense. They need some points desperately and almost blew that chance. They've got to take better care of the football. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. This is one yard on the play. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Flare! Slam, slam! Under a minute left. And he stops the clock with a spike. This is the ninth play of this drive. They come out in an empty backfield. Black five, black to go. Get to that quickly. He's tackled around the 27-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle made right around the 22-yard line. Kill, kill, kill. Three. They'll spread the field with five wide. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Idaho's out of timeout. 
Here's the 12th play of the drive. Just to get them to think a little more about it, they're going to call a timeout. This to take us to overtime. The kick is away. And he got it! The defense burns a timeout here in an attempt to stall this no huddle attack. Idaho lines up for the kickoff. at the 26-yard line. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. throw tackle at the 12 so a nice little pitch and catch there and that'll give the offensive first down that was a very good looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains first and 10 ball on the 12 and he's tackled around the three yard line that'll make it second and inches it left side and he's brought down to the backfield. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. Going for it all. Both teams have been fighting hard the entire game, and it just gets tougher in overtime. These guys deserve a world of credit for pulling this one out because it's been a real battle. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, Idaho 16, Ohio 13. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.